Sound speeds. And in case you haven't heard, for the first time in history, we have recorded sound on another planet. On February 18th, 2021, Mars rover Perseverance ended its 203-day journey from Earth and landed safely on the red planet. This time, for the first time, a Mars rover was equipped with microphones. We've sent microphones into outer space before. Otherwise, how would we have caught that famous line, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind? No, I didn't misquote it. Neil Armstrong himself has said that the word ah was lost in transmission. Microphones on the surface of the moon wouldn't pick up anything. There's no atmosphere on the moon. And in order for acoustic vibrations to make its way into the capsule of a microphone, there has to be some sort of a medium for the sound to travel through. Now, it could be argued that conductively, that's directly transferred through touch, there could be vibrations that travel in from the moon into the capsule of a microphone and creates a vibration that is interpreted by the microphone as an audio output, but that's not the same thing as the microphone picking up a sound itself. Mars, on the other hand, does have an atmosphere. Now, granted, it's less than 1% as thick as Earth's and is made of about 95% carbon dioxide, but it is there. That means there's something for sound to travel through. There wasn't much to record on the unmanned flight to Mars, but we did record some. Once the Perseverance encountered the Martian atmosphere, the mic started picking up a lot of different sounds. We've never really heard spacecraft land anywhere but on Earth before, so everything from the spacecraft entering the atmosphere to the landing was captured. You might be wondering what microphones were chosen to record the sounds on this Mars mission. That was the question NASA had to ponder. Obviously, they'd need a condenser microphone to capture a full frequency response, and the one they chose picks up smooth and flat from 10 Hz all the way up to 20,000. An omnidirectional pattern is also more ideal because it picks up sounds from all directions with little or no proximity effect. Having low self-noise and the ability to pick up very loud sounds with zero coloration is also important for accuracy. It's also got to be rugged enough to survive the journey and to withstand the conditions on Mars, be it cold temperatures or violent shaking. Well, if you know premium microphone brands, then you should also know that only one manufacturer prides themselves in absolutely transparent and highly detailed sound, and luckily everything else applies as well. That's Danish Professional Microphones. DPA produces very high-quality, accurate microphones used everywhere from film sets and recording studios to stage performances and even to record snowflakes falling in Antarctica. The pickup is dead flat, and DPA is brutally honest about their specs. Many manufacturers show omnidirectional polar pattern mics as round at all frequency ranges, but as we've discussed in other videos, higher pitch sounds are more directional and DPA isn't afraid to admit that truth. Just so it's been said, DPA has not paid or incentivized me in any way to produce this video. They don't even know I'm doing it. I just personally like and appreciate DPA microphones and thought it was really cool that the ears on board the Perseverance happen to be DPA microphones and that's why I'm sharing it with you. Now about the microphones that are on the Perseverance. There are DPA-4006 capsules for starters. Most DPA microphones are modular, meaning that you can piece them together using separate pieces or modules based on your needs. While you could use the 4006 capsule on what looks traditionally like a microphone, instead they are attached to MMPG active cables, which create a light, low-profile, and flexible alternative that still supplies 48 volts phantom power. The active cables are connected via microdot and powered by a two-channel MMAA digital audio interface, a low-profile and low-power USB audio interface that connects to the Perseverance and provides two channels of clean digital audio. These two ears will provide all the sound you hear from the Mars rover, and two omnidirectional pattern microphones are used in AB stereo recording, so the Perseverance may even be able to detect the direction of many sounds it picks up. While this is the first microphone system we've ever equipped on a Mars rover, this is the third time we've ever heard sounds from a Mars rover. On December 1, 2018, the seismometer on board the InSight rover picked up wind. If you've ever heard wind blowing on a microphone, you can imagine how impressive wind blowing on a vibration detection instrument is, but hey, it was still sound. The InSight's air pressure sensor was the second to pick up wind noise, but neither of these is going to be anywhere near the quality of the DPA microphones on board the Perseverance. As of the time of this video, it's very early in the Perseverance's exploration of Mars, but I'm really hoping to hear some cool things. Maybe an asteroid crashing into a hill. Maybe just pebbles rolling down a hill. Or even water trickling down a hill. Whatever it is, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Now, I have put a couple of links down in the description if you're interested in the DPA microphones there or more about the NASA Perseverance space mission. Thank you for tuning into this episode of SoundSpeeds. Be sure to tune in the future for more things that perhaps you didn't know. Education and sound advice.
Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.